Maidenhead will hopefully put in a better performance today. Hopefully there'll be boys by their good up. performance at five. It's found dead at the back post. I think the whistle's gone up anyway. Nice ball into Stead. Pokes it. Great save there by Ross. Brilliant save by the Maidenhead number one. Yeah, well, Stead's already got two goals this season. He's looking for his third. But here come Maidenhead, and it's Mitchell Lawson. Still Mitchell Lawson. Cuts it back, looking for Smith. It's going to break for Ferguson. But he's closed down by Tavares. Have their players fit. Nice ball looking for Smith. Can he get away here? Let's it roll past the goalkeeper. And he yeah. tucks it away. And Maidenhead have scored. A great breakaway move. And it's last season's top scorer, Reese Smith. Well, they got the monkey off the back, finally. Actually, it all started on the far side with great play uh, by uh, Cochrane, who intercepted the move for Barnett. And then the ball was fed, and Nathan Ferguson broke forward beautifully. Fred Smith, Nick Hayes came for the ball, but he was always going away from him. He couldn't get his hands on it. Smith managed to uh, get the ball away from him. And the beauty of Richard Smith is he's got two goods before the game as Richard Lawson was breaking forward there. And yeah, Mitchell Lawson did get away card. There. And it looks like there's going to be the first booking of the match to Kenlock. You know, if they can do, he's definitely their most potent outlet on the wings. No doubt about it. It's Petit who swings this one in. Locko does get to it, but always high and wide, that one. Never really threatening Hayes there. In well the intercepted by Cochrane. And once again, Mitchell Lawson being pulled back by Glover this time. And it's another yellow for Barnett. Sexually good play by Owen Cox. And that's a lovely ball over the top. The flag stays down. It's Mitchell Lawson here looking for Abrahams. Abraham scores! What a brilliant goal from Maidenhead. A great counter attacking move. And Mitchell Lawson did so well to find Abrahams in space. And a brilliant left foot finish. And it's now 2 0. Lovely goal there by a main, a wonderful pass by Cochrane. Fees Koke went for the header and missed it. Meant that Mitchell Lawson was clear. And Mitchell Lawson had the presence to keep cool, look up, saw Abrahams running onto it, pass it across, six yards out. I won't say he couldn't miss, but uh, placed it well. Made net two goals up. Probably the only chance I forget to mention uh, John Watson and myself in the same breath. <laughs> oh, hang but on. here's Stead as they break away. And that isn't the best of finishes. We expect more from Barnett's number 10. They don't want to concede. But Maidenhead. Even though they will probably go in in the lead, they don't want to concede a goal so late in the first half because that's always a good thing for uh, teams to do. And I think we're going to get a yellow... Gonna get yellow Once card again, here for Tristan Abraham, so like they did here last season. And it's well, it's headed in, and it was Stead. So the answer is no. Maidenhead can't hold on to their two-nil lead. Barnet have scored a, a goal right before the break. So it's game on. Yeah, Stead just pulled away from Massey and uh, got a lovely looping header on the ball. He loves scoring against uh, May. Ned scored uh, two goals last season, both home and away, and uh, scored again today. Nice looping header. You might ask whether perhaps May Ned's defence should have been tighter on him and certainly get the reputation of conceding goals from set pieces, which they've done again there. Pass. Glover, the overlapping run of Coker, nice little chip ball back, Stead's just behind Glover. him there, plenty of space, still Glover, curls one, that one's an easy one for Maynard's Ross. Maynard's assistant at Wheelstone for a while, till uh, Maynard, uh, oh hang on, Ferguson can break through, and it's broken to Smith, 
Can he make it three? He can! What a composed finish! For number 17, Rhys Smith into the bottom corner and Maidenhead have restored their two goal cushion here at York Road. It's now 3-1. I'm having one of those games today, Michael, where every time I try to sort of say something that's slightly different or relevant to the game, there's a break, and there all I can... I looked up, and there was Ferguson, obviously broke, uh, you know, Charles down to clearance, and there was Smith alongside him. Ferguson had the brains to leave it to a Reece Smith, and a number of times I saw Reece Smith last season, you saw Good him question, as well. Michael, On the left-hand sure, side... I think I've still got to keep my wits about you, as they've got to be here. Yeah. They've been broken... And a fantastic save once again from Ross. He had one against Stead in the first half. And now he's stopped Glover as well as it's cut across and cleared away. We've done it again, Mark, didn't we? Paul Johnson swings that one in. That one's an easy one for Ross, though. Bounce just in front of him, so he had to do well to make so sure he didn't let the ball rebound off him. Doing a lot of tracking him. back as he is now. And uh, Mikulski a straight swap for Abrahams. And it's a chemo. Chips it back in, a vital header by Loco, but knocked back across. Cochrane in the right place. Imagine that's what Dean Brennan meant when he said Maidenhead's a tough place to come. As it's Mikulski breaking away, but the offside flag is up. Yeah, you see the great bit of raw talent followed by slight in inexperience there from the new Maidenhead signing. Ed's it breaks for Chapman, and that's over the top. Oh, that's good. Out looks up, Glover's in acres of space this side of the pitch, but they go down the middle, and Loco can't quite deal with that one, and it's Carnu. It's well, it was number seven there, the substitute. Right decision. You confident now, Keith? Uh, Surely you are now. <laughs> uh, no, no, we'll uh, <laughs> wait till the referee blows the final whistle. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty confident now. Two goal advantage. Probably only about a minute left. Maidenhead surely now are heading for their first three points. The final whistle is blown. The Magpies fans can breathe a sigh of relief. Finally, a Maidenhead win. Reese Smith got them on their way. Abrahams then scored a goal after that. They were 2-0 up, but Stead did find a goal for the visitors at half-time. And then Abrahams, well, it was Smith, in fact, who found the third goal for Maidenhead in the second half to make it 3-1.